Welcome, and this is John with the Bayou Gorilla Garden Channel. So, I'm over here clearing a new area in our gorilla garden to put some potatoes that went bad on us out in the kitchen. We've already got radish and some other things, beans, some cucumber. For our far out fall garden here, which is a lot different in this zone than the zone I'm used to working in. And that's probably good enough for the potatoes. Want to get those potato bags, little man? <laughs> so as you can see, some of them already have the eyes growing on them. Um, I'm not going to be too discriminant about this, but I want to try and get more growth out of them. So I'm going to just chop some of them in half. Try and get some of the different eyes on the different parts. That one wasn't that great. Oh well. And then just huh, stick them in, basically. Sandy soil. I'm hitting a root. Or something. I'm not caring about spacing. I just want to get all my little pieces of potato into the ground. And maybe once they come up, I'll hill them up. Just take some dirt from somewhere else and hill them up after they get going a little bit. And I don't honestly know if they even should be planted in the fall here. But I'm trying it anyway. Because what else am I to do with the potatoes that went, went bad in the kitchen? I think that's all we need to do. Here the cicadias are trying to find their partner. Another thing we never had out with. so that we comp can compost everything, as the David the Bad, I mean David the Good says. I wouldn't be gardening this far away from my actual uh, abode's uh, front door, but given the circumstances, this would not be a zone, what do they do that in permaculture, a zone, your zones of... Uh, zones of influence or whatever by the how close you are to your actual residence. This is probably a two, and ideally my garden wouldn't be in a two, but it is in a two. And we haven't been getting much rain here. Um, we're from the west, and I think we brought the, the drought with us. So I'm coming out here to this watering can, unfortunately, and having to water every other day. We gotta water all the potatoes we put in as well. And I'm already out and having to make trips. <laughs> Those two they didn't say they got stepped on or didn't get enough water. Broccoli. I don't know if 
if I see any germination there yet. The kale germination, the bok choy, some germination, the radish, definitely germination, and then the cilantro, I haven't seen anything yet. So we'll see, I'll, I'll be trying to document this weekly on how it goes, and hopefully we get some, uh, some nice vegetables in the fall for here. God bless everyone.